Today I'm going to show you the best double Mabel beater in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the Bunch Strong Offset Formation. You can find this play in the Jets playbook. I believe it's the only playbook that has it, maybe the Bears playbook as well. But this play is absolutely incredible for attacking the meta. Now, what most people are doing post-patch, because blitzing is really not that effective, is they are going to a double Mabel style of coverage. What that basically means is we're going to try to double flat the sideline, where we utilize a cloud flat to stop a corner route and a curl flat to stop a flat route and then a deep zone over the top uh, to stop the clear out route. So we're going to have flats on 30, curl flats on 5, and we're going to do this out of the 4-3 even 6-1, which is kind of the most meta way that people are doing this. So you're going to call the play flood, and then we're going to set this defense up. Essentially, it's going to look something like this right here. And they're going to use her over the middle of the field, try to take everything away in the middle um, while they're able to basically create brackets on the sidelines to take away some of the best routes in this game. The beauty of the play Flood is it is one of the only plays in Madden 24 that has this stock little fade, uh, streak slash fade to the outside bunch receiver. Now, we just dropped an entire offensive ebook on the Patreon for the Jets playbook, kind of centering around this bunch strong offset. I believe this is the best offensive formation in the game right now. And it gives you the most, uh, the biggest competitive advantage. And I actually don't know how you stop this offense. This offense is absolutely insane. So if you want to get access to it, um, the link's going to be in the description. Patreon members get access to all of our eBooks and you can join to, for just $10. We have a ton of updates. We've updated defensive eBooks for you as well. So if you want to sign up, the link's going to be in the description. All we're going to do to set this play up to make it absolutely obliterate the cover two is we are going to streak our tight end. That's it. We're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is that streak is going to take the deep half. And then you're just going to basically pass this to the outside. And you see that this can absolutely take the top off the defense if they are in a cover two uh, style of defense. And this is really any cover two, to be honest. Um, but it's definitely going to work against these double Mabel defenses. Now, another thing that a lot of people like to do is they will actually leave these quarter zones. If they leave the quarter zones, maybe to try to defend crossers a little better, um, this is going to be even more exaggerated. So you'll see right here, I mean, it's just going to get way more open over the top and you're going to have a really, really big play on your hands. Now, the beauty of how this system and schematics are going to work for you is this is going to force your opponent to stay in a cover four shell or a cover three shell. So when they have to stay in a cover four or a cover three shell, we are also in a quads formation. That means that match coverage will pretty much never work against this. Um, against this. So then what we can do is we can just either leave the tight end on the corner route or hot rod him to a sharp corner route. And you're going to see this going to get underneath the outside quarter every single time. So this becomes a true money play because of its ability to literally attack any zone coverage in the game. This formation also features, in my opinion, the best ways uh, to be able to attack man-to-man. -man. Um, so if you're struggling at beating man-to-man, -man, this formation does that as well. Another cool little trick, if you're ever like, I don't know if they're putting a quarter or they're putting a cloud, I don't know if it's cover two or cover four, then you can just streak the slot receiver. What this is going to do is it's still going to clear out the cover two. So you see how I can still basically pass lead that to the right-hand side, and I could even freeform and high point it to get it out there a little bit more, um, but I can get the ball out that way. And then if for whatever reason they are actually going to stay in a cover four, when I streak the slot receiver, it allows the tight end to get open for a big play. I'm just going to basically pass lead this down, try to catch it, possession catch on the sideline. Personally, if I'm you know running this concept, I love to utilize Hot Route Master to get a little sharper of a corner route. That way, if they're ever in a true cover four, this corner route is going to get a little bit better separation against a true cover four baseline press. If people are running a baseline press cover four on you, um, I just want to quickly point out that that can be a little bit of an issue for this deep corner route. And the reason why is because that quarter is just going to have a better chance of getting underneath it. Actually still able to possession catch that, but if they have deep out zone knockout, that's just something you need to be aware of. But this in pound for pound, the best way, in my opinion, to absolutely obliterate cover two, and it's going to force your opponent to do a lot of stuff that they don't want to do. Even if, you know, understand, a lot of people, even if they're in a cover three and they're rolling their safeties to the short side of the field, this uh, fade route is going to be a consistent beater of any kind of deep pass. So they can be in a cover three on the other side of the field. But the beauty of this is this just completely destroys the ability to play a short side 30-yard cloud to try to stop a corner route. 
because we can get over it with this glitchy fade route. And then now, once they can't do that anymore, we have all kinds of things available to us offensively. Guys, the Jets offense is absolutely incredible, not just because it has Bunch Strong, it has a ton of other formations, but Bunch Strong offset very well could be the best offense in Madden 24. I personally think as of right now, it certainly is. If you want to learn the entire offense, join the Patreon today for just $10. The link is down in the description below.